Welcome to our Spring Framework Deep Dive. Today, we're tackling a question that often puzzles developers. What is the difference between using app profile and active profiles in a Spring test configuration? Let's break it down and clarify these two important annotations. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy just like me and hopefully you get through that resolution. So let's continue on. In spring, the annotations app profile and active profiles serve different purposes when configuring your application context. Let's explore these differences. The app profile annotation is used to specify that a particular configuration class or beam should only be loaded when a specific profile is active. For example, if we annotate a configuration class with app profile unit test, it will only be included in the application context when the unit test profile is active. On the other hand, at active profiles is typically used in test scenarios. It allows you to specify which profiles should be active when running tests. This means that any beans or configurations marked with profile that match the active profiles will be loaded. In summary, use at profile to conditionally load beans based on the active profile while active profiles is used to set the active profiles for your tests. This distinction helps manage different configurations for various environments. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. App Profile is used to define different bean definitions for various environments, like local or production. For example, you can configure a bean for testing with a specific URL and another for production with a different URL. To activate a profile when starting your application, you can set the spring.profiles.active property or use the active profiles annotation in your test classes. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. In Spring, the app profile annotation is used to define conditions for bean creation based on active profiles. For example, if you use app profile with P1 active or P2 not active, the bean will be created. On the other hand, at active profiles sets the current active profiles for your application. If you set active profiles to P2 and P3, the bean with the previous profile condition will not be created. However, if you set at active profiles to P3 or P1, the bean will be created because the conditions defined in app profile are satisfied. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. App Profile is used to declare which profile a bean or configuration belongs to. It's applied when defining a bean.
At Active Profiles is used in tests to enable one or more profiles. It checks if any beans are annotated with profile. If Active Profiles is specified, the Spring Context only loads beans if their at profile matches the Active Profiles. And that's it guys. I hope we've gone through and found the answer that you're looking for. And look, if we did find that answer in your resolution, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time you need technical videos, I hope you have a good one.